I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and effective way to paint bloody and gory weapons and blood and gore on your models, and we're going to start right now. Okay guys, so there's three things you're going to need. One is going to be the red blood effect, and there's two products here, Tamiya Clear Red or Blood for the Blood God, some Vallejo Game Ink Black, and specifically that needs to be the ink. I do prefer the uh, Citadel Blood for the Blood God, which you can buy at Games Workshop. So that's what we'll be using for this tutorial. The third thing you're going to need is a brush. And I've actually, I'm using a, like an old dry brush here, but you can also um, buy any brush and basically cut the bristles in half and use that as the uh, like stippling tool. And that's what we're going to do here. The first thing we're going to do is apply Blood for the Blood God and stipple it onto the area you want to look bloody, or onto the weapon, onto the armor, onto the severed head, whatever it is. Now this is key, you don't paint the blood on, you don't paint streaks and long brush strokes because that looks really unnatural and doesn't look like what blood would likely do as it was splattering all over a weapon or something that was used to, you know, do bad things. As you're applying it, think about where the blood would end up on a weapon, obviously it's along the blade area, um, if it was going to be blood splatter, think about where would the splatter hit the armor. Um, if it's a severed head, you want the stump of the neck, that kind of thing. Now where things get interesting is we're going to be adding some black to this. And we're not going to use black paint, which is too opaque and too thick. We're going to use the black ink. And we're going to kind of mix it a little bit with that blood red, uh, blood for the blood god. Um, don't put the black ink into your pot itself. You don't want to screw up your, your actual blood god paint. And it's actually okay to do this while the paint is still tacky or while the blood god is still tacky on the weapon because it's going to create that sort of gooey, textury, you know, naturally occurring splattery effect. You don't want it to look uniform. You don't want two beautiful layers. You want a gory mess, right? And the thing is, gore is often not just red, it's also black. And this is what's going to give you that effect. And guys, it's that simple. Here's a look at how it looks uh, on the miniature. The last tip I would give is don't matte varnish it. Make sure this should probably be like literally the last step you do because you don't want to take away that gooey shine from the blood. If you have any questions, post below. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful and I hope you will consider subscribing, sharing and liking the video to help me out with making even more of this content for you guys. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.